This is a recording showing my uh, little RPG that I have going here. I'm programming this in Free Basic, which is a basic language. Um, I'm not using any uh, graphics card functions. I think this is all on the processor. Um, it's going a little bit slower with fraps. Usually it goes a little bit faster than this. I actually it only lowered the frame rate for, down to 46 from like 50. Normally I get about 50, so that's not bad. It's much better than it was previously. I'm not sure what the problem was previously. Okay, I have uh, movement, as you can see, based on angle rather than based on destination. Well, technically it's based on destination, but whatever. Got a little couple of toggle switches here. You can see the uh, the way I set up my tiles. I've got objects, terrain tiles, another object layer, and then I've got something that I haven't implemented yet. There's the object layer. Alpha. can make my units disappear. Got a lot of units, but uh, I have four animations for each one. Four frames. Left, right, up, and down. And that's it. Well, and they have a little walking animation for each, each one. I don't have any attacking or getting hit, speaking, or anything like that, so... I'll either have to make those or just make it the kind of RPG that doesn't ever have that sort of thing. Um, the terrain here looks pretty nice. I love the way this looks. You can see how big this is on the map. This is the area that I'm looking at right here. And the map goes quite a bit in that direction. It's 8,000 by 8,000 pixels, which turns into about 500 by 500 tiles, each tile being one of these little blocks here, the red square. Okay, um, this is an, edit an editor at the moment, nothing else. So here's my editor screen. Now you go over here and let's see. Let's edge some beach. I do like a little palette based sort of thing. A lot of this is still uh, not set in stone. For example, I'm having to hard code. Ugh, I don't even know how to explain that at the moment. Oh, that was the wrong tile to put down. Clearly. I don't really know what tile to put down there. Oh, for one, I'm putting it on the tile layer, which is a problem. On the terrain layer. Got an object. Yeah, that didn't work. Well, anyway, that's how it's done. You can see it uh, operates pretty fast. My unit is moving very slowly, probably more slowly than it, than anybody will be. I, I have a very large range of speeds, which is really cool. You can... Uh, uh, let me show you these enemies down here. Um, the definition with which I can vary the speed of a unit is so great that I can equip a pair of boots that, for example, change my movement speed by 10% and you'll be able to recognize that when moving. This guy will be moving over at, you know, 1 pixel per second. This guy will be moving at 7.4 pixels per second, so he'll be way out there. And eventually it creates a, a very good chain. Previously I had it where these enemies all moved in one speed, these enemies all moved in the next speed, and then these, like, it would group them. But I found out a more defined way to do that. Okay, so there's that. Editors. I can save and everything. Got a lot of options going on. I've got clouds and uh, I can make the water not transparent. So there's clouds, and you can see they're moving independent of the map, which uh, independent of the screen, which is good. They're moving relative to the map, not relative to the screen. That took a little bit of work. Clouds aren't... I'm not a fan of clouds yet. Say so there's alpha water. I seem to get better frame rates when I don't have a full screen of alpha printing on the water. <clears throat> I much prefer it water, though. I much prefer it uh, with transparency. It's way cooler. I'm only using 16-bit mode, screen mode, so it's not uh, per-pixel alpha channels. There's no per-pixel alpha. I have to fake it. As you can see, I faked it with this menu right here. Uh, it's just all one alpha. I faked it somewhere in the menus, like several layers of alpha, but really it's just like multiple graphics being printed. Where's that? Okay, what else? Um, 
I am having to manually edge all my tiles, which is merely represents my failure as a programmer, frankly. But uh, that may get fixed. Who knows? Okay, there's that. So I would go through and I would edge. I'm on object. Edging it like this. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, middle. Uh, that way. Uh, it's a special one. And I can go in here and I can save it. And it actually updates it and stuff. And it's nice. And that's all for now. Oh, I, I showed you the particles, I think, yeah. Shooting out some fireballs. I'll have to make sure that that's not frame rate dependent. Make sure that it, you know, creates the same amount of fireballs per second no matter what the frame rate is once I get into actually making some spells. Anyway, until next time.